Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. Let's talk about promiscuity. Premarital sex, is it a good idea? Is it okay? What's the big deal, right? I've never been married. And I have had lots of sex, way too much. As a 51-year-old man looking back on my life, I would have done everything differently. I was engaged once, and that relationship, we lived together, and we were going to get married, and that relationship crumbled for various reasons. We were unhappy with each other. She cheated on me, so that's always a deal breaker for me. I don't know about you guys. And I realized that sleeping around and going through that what feels like a necessary experimentation stage of being free and self-exploration and learning what you like and all that when you're younger and sleeping around, that I realized that that's rather unnecessary and not just unnecessary, but somewhat harmful, harmful to the psyche. I mean, it could be dangerous. Sleeping around can be dangerous, particularly for women. I've known plenty of people that have ended up with herpes. And that's always a drag. And then you, they have to tell you, I don't know if you've ever met somebody uh, on a first date, and they say, oh, well, I have to warn you, by the way, I have herpes. That changes everything. All of a sudden, you're just like, whoa, you get real judgy. You think they're dirty, and you're just sitting there thinking, geez, do I want herpes? Do I want a girlfriend or a wife that has got this slut disease, basically? I was talking with a guy at the gym guy that I mentor and have for quite a while. He's been particularly tortured, less so now that I've been able to get through to him, but in the past he was very tortured by the fact that he has never had a girlfriend and he's never been laid before and now this guy's in his 20s. And he feels like he has missed out on a rite of passage of manhood. He doesn't even feel like a man in his own mind because he hasn't gotten laid. And I've been telling him, look, man, you are in the perfect position. You are going to be a great father. Your family, should you be blessed to have one someday, will be a tight unit. And this has been studied. The more sexual partners that one has before marriage, the more chance that they have to get divorced. And this is a statistical fact. People who sleep around more before they get married, you've had five, six, ten different partners, random partners before you got married, before you found the one and you pledged your love to her, there's a real good chance that that relationship is going to fail and it most likely will because of you and your past and the behavior that you have developed, the bad behavior, the bad thinking process, this toxic thinking around sex, sex being a release, an escape instead of a gift. Sex turning into a self-serving activity instead of a, 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 an experience that you're giving to your, the person that you love the most. You cheapen it by having one night stands. You fantasize about these random Instagram models and how great it would be to recreate the porn that you watch and telling you that will kill you inside. You go through a life of that kind of crap and maybe you think that you're some kind of player, you're some kind of Andrew Tate player, you will never be marriage material. You'll be like my father. My father was married six times and always said, he died before the seventh, was murdered before the seventh, but he always said, oh, the seventh is going to be the one. And I would laugh at him and I'd be like, motherfucker, you said that about the third one. You said that about the fourth one. can't just blame it with him all on the fact that he slept around before marriage. However, when we do this, when we engage in premarital sex and a life of promiscuity, of sleeping around before we get married, it really does have devastating effects, profound effects, and it makes it harder for us to be intimate, truly intimate, and connect with somebody. It keeps us always somewhat distant because you're, you've turned into a narcissist. So I suggest for a lot of you guys out there that are struggling with this, you really desperately want to get laid, is to try to shift your thinking, your outlook, and to 
guard your purity, your cleanliness, to be proud of purity, to be proud of a certain level of inexperience because when you meet the woman that you're going to dedicate your life to, you're going to give this to her. I haven't plowed any other chick. No other chick has received my seed. I'm not putting it on their tits or on their ass. You're getting it. You're the first and the only. My grandfather has only ever kissed one woman, and that was my grandmother. He had never put his lips to another woman other than my grandmother. He had never touched another woman's tits, never felt any other set of tits than my grandmother. He had never fucked another woman, ever, other than my grandmother. Not when he was in World War II, off on leave, when you guys go to prostitutes. Oh, I've heard the prostitute stories of you military guys, not my grandpa. My grandpa was a good boy, dedicated to my grandma. He's never been, he's never even held hands with another woman. That's the way it's supposed to be. I know it sounds a little lofty and righteous, but sometimes I can be that way. Thanks for watching.